y bienvenidos del castillo. This is Night Saber Z32. I'm gonna play some guacamole too. I'm just sitting here doing some push ups. Gotta get back in the shape if I'm going to fight the forces of evil. Anyways, juicy bezonte burritos. Let's go find the goat man. Oh, this door is uh, magical. So we might have to do some. Oh, hey, you were a boss in the first game. This door is also sparkly. So we might have to like switch worlds if that's a thing in this one. Oh, hey, real people. Can I talk to you? I can barely believe it, senores. Why, chivos? It is was horrible. Please describe what happened. I was just fixing on my bike with Salvador. You know, the Salvador. The one that killed Kalaka showed up. He had a gang of weirdos with him. A magician, a dead dog lady, a talking cactus. Whoa. Hmm, careful, boss. The top foot is not the steep. I suspect he's killing me again. What? what? No, I'm the brains. You're the muscle. Silencio. I need to prepare my monologue. But first... Boom! He's got a brain! Ah, uh, the golden relic. Soon I will reach the Molcajete. And its sacred contents will give me <coughs> It's just some sauce stuck in my throat. I'm still as strong as ever. I'm gonna cough on the golden poop. Mmm, the golden relic. This could mean trouble. Also, after Salvador took the relic, strange black things began to appear in the sky, and the skeletons are becoming more frequent. No bones about it. Oh, you're back, Chiro24. I didn't see you there. You were just. What? Yes? Wait. Please don't tell me that is the one. Yes, this is just. This is the last one left alive. The very one I told you about. He defeated Kalaka in his timeline. Save Blue Pita and survive. Wow, incredible. This. Is the one? Yes. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be hard for me to tell the two apart. Which one gets the goat voice and which one gets the old man voice? All right. Well, only surviving one. Please step forward. You heard of the three legendary relics? Nope. Here we go. Salvador has taken one of the three relics created by the God of Time. But disturbing these relics could cause the timelines to collapse in on themselves. Salvador's evil ambition may very well lead to... Is that Cuba? <laughs> the end of the Mexiverse. Just kidding, I know that was Mexico. Santa Maria Morena, not the Mexifers. One, go and find my guardian Tostada in the mangrove swamp to the east, Los Manglares. Tostada will help you find the sacred mask. You're going to need it if you hope to stop Salvador. Alrighty, check to find the mask. Salvador is right when he was to. Technico and be Kalaka, but I love him even more now as a Rudo. He's so badass. I do hope he doesn't destroy Mexico though. Is that anybody else? Don't worry, Wad. I promise we'll get you back home as soon as the relics are safe. Da da da. How's your mother, by the way? Oh, creepy. Oh. 
want this hoopla about Salvador. Salvador this, Salvador that. Hello, I talking cactus just walked into town, people. I talk to the old guy. Oh no, okay. All right, so we gotta find ourselves the mask. It says that there's stuff that's open, but I didn't see anything that was open. The church is closed, so I don't think there's really much for us to do. We have no power, so we're probably gonna get our butts kicked. I wonder if that stuff will hurt me. Yep, okay. That that kills. <laughs> Just like in Fez. So that's our first death. Oh, finally met I finally met Salvador the Snake. I had his poster when he beat Kalaka. He was my favorite. So I guess the Salvador guy was the one that beat Kalaka in this time. And of course, we are the one who beat the Kalaka in our timeline. Juan? Juan Aguacate? You're alive? I thought you died at the hands of Kalaka years ago. So that's pretty cool. They're doing some really cool timeline things. Oh wow, okay. He was coughing so much. Honestly, I wasn't afraid of him, but I didn't want to catch that cold. Oh my gosh, it's Skeletor versus He-Man. El hombre esqueleto este briones ochenta de mayo at 9 p.m. El Pantera, Wakanda forever. Oh. I used to be a tequila maker who lived near here a long time ago. He looked a lot like him. He could be his cousin. <gasps> the weird magician had a dancing chicken coop with him. Did I imagine that? It's been a weird day. Alright, let's go ahead. Shave the world of the agave field. Darkest timeline. Oh, another guy. Be careful, young man. Nobody's lived here out here for years. They left but dust and the odd esqueleto. And I don't have any power, so I can't pound through that. Alright, right, let's see. Any esqueletos going to come out and pop out and do some stuff and things and maybe I don't know. <gasps> we died in this timeline. Casa de Juan. I can't go into that, fortunately. Oh, this area's open up. Los Manglares, Darkest Timeline. Okay. What's with this glowing stuff? Oh, wait, sparkly means it doesn't exist in the other realm, right? Oh, look at the big tall. Oh, a skeleto! I was trying to not. Yeah, just fall into that. Come on, bruh. Yeah. Don't fall in the acid. Oh, I really hate these guys. <laughs> Ooh, nice effect on them flying. Little door effect. <laughs> He's saying Vamanos, that's funny. That's hilarious. Vrientos! 20 hits. I'm out of chicken, so I can't go down there. I wonder if this is gonna be exactly like Guacamelee 1. Same powers and everything. <gasps> She's canon! What? Wait, is this supposed to be Lupita? In this timeline? It is you! Why, Chivo really did it, that crazy goat! It's me, Tostara, guardian of the mask. Do you remember me? Oh no, I guess it's not Lupita. It's really strange to see you again. Nice mustache, by the way. So thick. We were so close to defeating Kalaga in this timeline one. I swear, we won't make the same mistake with Salvador. Just hold still and close your eyes. This will only take a second. <gasps> Is she gonna give us the- Oh, wow. She just totally throat punched us. And we died. <gasps> chicken! 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 Where's the chicken? I almost went to Chick-fil-A for dinner today. Oh, this is totally different. Escalito chickens. Escalito pollo. Okay. We need our power hit to get there. Does anything happen when we uh, beat up the chicken? I assume if this is like, since they're making so many uh, game tropes, if you hit them enough times, the chicken will kick your butt. So, oh, we got a mask. 
Our first mask. So sorry about killing you back. Oh, what? She totally did kill us. I had to get you to the world of the dead. Anyway, look, here it is. It's a bit tattered from the last adventure, but it's waiting for you, one. Go on, before you turn into a skeleton. Happy mask! Touch it. Put it on. We put it didn't fit him anymore. Boots! A bigger, you know what, and muscles with our tattoo. And I am Sailor Moon! One style. <laughs> Alright, we got the muscles again. That's the one I remember. Although I kinda miss seeing the mustache. Now we just need to get you back to the world of the living. The council can help with that. But for the east, in Pantanillo, the swamp down there. Let's go one and be around if you need me. I wonder if we could switch to her. Additional players may now join. So somebody can be Tostara. Go to Pantanillo and seek out the council. And that is going to be over to the right. Do we have our powers? No. no. Excuse me, that's the big question. I see there's a chest over here, but I don't know if I can actually get there. I can't go there. That must have been up here. Since we're in the realm of the dead, this is now ready for us. So the way the game works, or at least in, in uh, Guacamelee 1, these little sparklies um, mean that if you go to the other realm, it's like there's going to be something different. And usually it's a platform or something. Do I hit harder? I still don't hit harder, but I can grab people now. So that's cool. Ah, uh, yes, the invincible frame, the invincibility frames. I remember that. Get beat up, man. Oops, didn't want to beat that. I wanted to slam him into the ground. Ground pound. Oh. Lucha! Boom. Yeah, cut the combo! Oh, ouch. I got hit. Oops. Oh, I can't wait to do hard mode on this one. I can't believe I can't dodge yet. I can't wait till I get to dodge. Like, once you get dodging, everything is so much easier. Oh, I can dodge. Hey. I've been hitting it like the whole entire time and it wasn't dodging. Okay. Oh, here's a safe point. Change costume. Okay. Oh my gosh. I can be White Chivo. Oh, and x -bay. The Bombe. Oh, look at all the costumes. Oh, really? That's it? Chicken Man, uh, Mephisto, another different Lucha guy, and another alternate costume for Tostada. Two alternate costumes for Tostada. Three. Oh my gosh, I could be White Chivo, that is awesome. Oh, and his attacks are actually slightly different, that's awesome. <laughs> like he's pulling up his little uh, loincloth. Yes, okay, we're gonna play with uh, Juan for a little bit. Until I get some more costumes. Oh, I hope they put in a lot of costumes. That's what I really liked about the game a little bit. Was that they had different costumes. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Oh! Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can dodge in the air. What? I was hitting you, man. Don't give me that. Get dead. I guess I have to go behind, interrupt your attacks. I don't know. The, uh, movements in this game feel a little weird. Like,. I don't know, it just doesn't seem as precise. Or, like, it seems a little sluggish. Lucha! Big enemies can't be stunned. Avoid their attacks whenever possible. There we go. You can also dodge enemy projectiles. I know this. I'm a guacamole pro master. Boom, 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 baby! You can also get invisibility frames when you ahead and throw the enemy and bomb 64 hit c -c combo orale orale okay you can dodge the air whoops didn't do it because <laughs> i'm an idiot all right no i don't want to change costumes but i guess that is the safe point press and hold a to jump high wow okay jump low oh i guess if there had to be a tutorial 
Now would be the time. Whoa. I want to throw you right up into that guy. Boom. Okay, so I wonder, is that the chest that I saw before? It is not. Oh, okay, so that chest is where the chicken, um, the chicken path is. So this is some HP, and some muck hunt. So what can I buy with coins now? Because I think I could use the, uh, could use coins to buy, uh, costumes, but there don't seem to be as many costumes this time around. So what can I buy? Yeah. Nice dance, bruh. Can't get up there. Can't go down because I don't have my awesome attack yet. So I'm just gonna have to drop down until I get my abilities. Another save point. Man, that's so cool that this game. Well, I guess didn't the uh, remake have the uh, or the remastered version or whatever have co-op? I feel like that would have been a thing. Oh, oh, the chicken with the halo. That's awesome. I always, I forgot, projectiles are totally cheesy in this game because they can actually go through walls and stuff. No, you get this wall. <laughs> oh man, I miss playing games for the YouTubes. Oh yes, and of course the Metroid uh, thing. What do we get? What ability? One, tostada! Finally, Dios mio, my boy was getting numb from hiding in that position. You're really looking like a proper luchador now, Juan. But flashy garb means nothing without the fundamentals. You'll need to get reacquainted with the proper moves if you're going to face Salvador. In case you forgot, choose all statues hold the secrets of the ancient luchador techniques. The one you re just rudely destroyed contained the legendary rooster uppercut. Rooster uppercut breaks red blocks and can be performed in the air. But if you use it too much, you'll tie yourself out for a while. That's what you get for neglecting your training, man. Boom, rooster uppercut. There we go. Okay. So, Rooster Upcut is up and B on the Xbox 360 controller, or up and circle on a PS4 controller. Go get him, one. Uh, meet you in Pantanillo. And, oh man, I can't even go back up because I was going to totally go back to the blocks uh, up here and go there. I guess this will link back up. So, anyways, I'm going to leave this episode off here. I'm going to do some shorter videos for a while. So thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Check out the description for my Facebook and Twitter information while you're at it. Give this video a huge thumbs up to support the series. And I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.